Right now, Oliver Luck goes first in ten and hands off and running hard with the ball. Here's Mike Rogero, a surprise starter. The former Heisman Trophy winner from Nebraska moves it out, and the free safety for the Chargers, Jeffrey Dale, a rookie, knocked him down. On carry by Rogier as Oliver Luck hands off again, and once again they go to the draw play. This time, Moriarty takes it ahead for a gain of about three. Addition 47 yard line of Houston. A blitz, and they get Luck, free ball. Oilers get it back at their 40, but they'll have to punt the ball. Earl Wilson came through, number 93, first year player from Kentucky. And got a claw on the helmet of Oliver Luck, and the head almost came with it. Yeah, well described. They're in a game. Barefoot punt hit downfield. It's a wobbler and takes a big hop for the Oilers, rolling all the way down inside the five, and the ball's going to be down inside the three. Let's get some time. Swings it out to Anderson. And Gary Anderson breaks it ahead, and he's got a first down for San Diego. Before he got to the first down, so it's third and two, and they go to the run. Little train James gets across the 15-yard line. Might be a free ball. And the Oilers think they have it inside the San Diego 20. Lionel James got enough for the first down, but he lost the ball, and Houston takes over. And it's going to be third and eight at about the 16. Three wide receivers in the game. Luck goes to Moriarty, and Larry Moriarty, a power back from Notre Dame, goes in standing up. And the Oilers are on the board with a 6 to nothing lead. Quarter in the 1985 season. Watch the trap. Good job done by those big offensive line. Bruce Matthews makes a heck of a block. A downfield block by a wide receiver. And the six points looked easy there for the Houston Oilers. The Houston Oilers take a 7 0 lead. We'll be back with the Oilers kickoff after this. They're now tied 7 7. Hendo. Here comes Little Train James, and he breaks it across the 30 and the 40. And Little Chain is all the way out to the 43 yard line. Now, this kid is just unbelievable. Oh. This Cardinals now retired. Dan Fats on first down throws to Little Train, and he's ahead for yet another San Diego first down across midfield. He's to the 45 yard line of Houston. Greg of San Francisco is tied with him. He goes tomorrow night. Now, Fouts throws man wide open. That's Kellen Winslow, and he's down to the 26 yard line. When the Charger offense gets up to speed, it doesn't take long. Uh, Films of Fouts, he's never played better than he has recently. Although he didn't think he had that good a game last week at Denver, Fouts didn't think so. Here is Chandler moving the ball inside, and he's down to about the 18 yard line. A pick up about eight on first down. Right now on second down and two, the Chargers mounting a challenge. They trail 7-0. Tim Spencer, a strong back out of the U.S. Football League, takes it ahead, and he is ahead for a first down for the Chargers down to the 15-yard line. Third down, here's Dan Fouts against the Blitz. They give him some time. Look at that throw, but it's too high, and it was almost intercepted by Eason, the free safety, roving back at the five-yard line. So Dan Fouts in the offense took the ball down the field and then missed fire with a series of penalties that took them out of range. And now the offense comes off. Tenth. He can hit it that far, no problem, but he hasn't been doing it lately. This time he shoots one up and he doesn't get there. Short no foul. Thomas comes up empty for the Chargers and they fail to get points on that drive. And the Houston Oilers take over the ball first and ten when we come back. Two and ten at their 30. Out of the luck, hands off. Butch Wilfolk breaks it for the moment, gets ahead for a gain of about four yards to the 34-yard line. Oliver Luck loops one out. Butch Wilfolk is ahead for a Houston first down as the San Diego defense was back in the zone and Butch Wilfolk came underneath it. One by the Giants back in 82. Oliver Luck on first down, loops it out and swings it out again to Wilfolk. He eludes tacklers and he can go. But he's run down by rookie John Hendy before breaking at the distance. John Hendy down on the field. Look against deep heat turner of the Seattle Seahawks who burned him for three scoring catches. Wilfolk takes the ball on second and three and gets very close to a first down. Looks like he might be just short. Dead cross midfield down to the Charger 48 where Gil Bird knocked him down. Third down and less than a yard coming up for the Houston Oilers who lead this game 7-0. Oh. Oliver Luck breaks it and gets ahead for a first down and four more. Line number one, he's out with a hip pointer, but quick play. And second and 15, there's a throw to tight end Jamie Williams, and the Chargers tackling poorly, let him get away for a big game and a first down to the 28-yard line. Poor play line of San Diego. 
Oilers are in the lead, seven to nothing. One thirty-four to play, first quarter. Another throw and a catch. Free ball, and the San Diego Chargers have the football. No, no the Oilers get it back. Tim Smith came up with it. Play in the first quarter, and the clock running. The Oilers in the lead over the favorite Chargers, seven nothing, and challenging for another. Oliver Luck loops it out. Tim Smith gets the ball. And he is down inside the 10 yard line on a first down play. He got ahead for seven or eight. Houston with Rozier and Moriarty. Quick timing pattern as they go to the end zone. It's a touchdown for the Oilers to Drew Hill. And all of a sudden, the underdog Oilers have broken the game open. They lead it 13 to nothing. Danny Walters on the coverage. Knows where he's going. Walters never really has a chance that's perfectly thrown by Oliver Luck and a nice reception the yes. seventh touchdown reception of the season for Drew Hill a small wide receiver but as you see elusive and quick <laughs> 170 yeah everybody's your friend when you score absence of injured Warren Moon and Gary Anderson who took one the distance last week at Denver tries to bring it back Anderson breaks it across the 30 and out to the 40-yard line, a 40-yard return. Came on NBC Sports. Right now, it's first and 10 for the Chargers. who need some big plays despite it being late in the first quarter. There's one as they get it across midfield and down to the 47-yard line. Linebacker John Grimsley was victimized as Kellen Winslow looks sharp, catching his second pass of the day. Robert Stark. We'll have more after this play is on second down and eight. Dan Fouts gets his man, Kellen Winslow. Moving down inside the 40 and down to about the 39-yard line. A tough linebacker. Third and short yardage into the middle goes Spencer, and it looks like that second push might have gotten him there. He had to get the ball down to the 38-yard line of the Oilers. We're early in the second quarter with Houston a surprise 14 to nothing leader in the third round. Pitch back. Gary Anderson puts moves on. He's got a lot, and he's down to the 32-yard line, and the Oilers did well to keep him from even a bigger gain. Back in this game, Chargers down 14-0. As Dan Fouts eludes the sack, but throws a perfect strike to the wrong side. Bo Eason, the free safety for the Oilers, is right there to intercept. It's completed 6-4, 64 yards, and he'll be throwing right now. Tom Faken takes a look. He's got Kellen Winslow, and he's out to the 32-yard line. So the big guy is starting to get back in form as Kellen Winslow catches one for a 24-yard gain on a Charger first down. Here comes the pitch. Nope. Take the pitch, and he's going long, and Little Train tries, and he can't get it. The ball is intercepted again by Bo Eason. So Bo Eason has two today to stop Charger drives. So the Oilers have it again at their 40-yard line, and Oliver Luck looks to get some on first down. Going deep, and he's got a man open. His tight end, Jamie Williams, is all the way down to the Charger 32-yard line. Third down now. It's going to be six yards to go for the first down for the Oilers. Ball inside the Charger 30. Big rush. A blitz is coming. Oliver Luck gets it away. And the defense is ruled good, although it didn't look too much like the defender, Wayne Davis, was looking back at the ball when he ran into Herky Walls. So now Tony Zendejas has hit 15 of 20 field goals this season as a first-year player. Snap and sit down are good. The kick is on the way, and he's got it. A great play by Lee Johnson. Yes. Bad snap, and he got it down. Spun it. The laces were right, and so was the kick. And all of a sudden, it's a 17 to nothing game. The Houston Oilers stunning the San Diego Chargers with 8.42 to play in the first half. Here to coach the Astros next season. Here's a throw down field, and Anderson gets it out across to the across the 25-yard line. Another penalty marker goes down. Mm. Those possessions. Personal and foul, the 21 defense, 15-yard penalty, and a first down. The San down. Diego Chargers, nothing going on. Chargers, first and 10. Fouts throw into Seavers, and he's ahead for a San Diego first down. Play in the first half here at Houston. To the draw they go. Little Train gets some, and he busts inside the 35-yard line. Very close to a first down. Got at least nine on the play. Up to Schneid and get on the board. They're down 17-0 to Houston. Power run. Not much on it, but perhaps enough for the first down. 
tucked away at 12 noon that day when the Lions go against the New York Jets. Here's a throw to Chandler. He loses the ball. It's up there for grabs, and let's see who's got it. it looks like the Oilers again. And this inept showing so far by the Chargers certainly doesn't help the coaching career of Don Coriel at San Diego. And I have to agree with you. Four turnovers now by the Chargers in the first half. Watch what happens to Chandler here and running sideways. You can see the Mike Stinsrud who gets his hand in there, knocks the ball loose. And then it looks like Robert Abraham on the recovery. Fourth turnover by the Chargers. And as I said, they get down inside the 30 and things kind of go haywire. And not for a while as Oliver Luck on first down throws and makes a connection. Oh, free ball. And the Chargers have this one at midfield. So they get their first break of the day, their first turnover. Now Dan Fats throwing on second and long home run ball. Anderson's out there, so is the defense. Anderson was fouled. It'll be first down for San Diego at the 21-yard line of Houston. Looks defense, at the quarterback. Pass interference, 25. First down. Just trails 17 to nothing. And Dan Fats gets time, but not for long as the ball is free. Almost coming forward. We'll see if they ruled it in a pass attempt. Houston. No, they don't. The call is a fumble. Childress hit him. Five turnovers for the Chargers in the first half, and another drive is killed. Yeah. Going to be second down and ten as you see the game clock winding down. It's down to 225 in the first half. Woodrow Lowe puts a blitz on. Here's an interception by John Hendy. Both arms on the ball. He works his way all the way back to the 10 yard line. So the Chargers, after giving it up five times on turnovers, now get it back twice, and there's an all out brawl. Moriarty is swinging in there. That's all the way over on the other side of the field. Moving with Big Cat Williams, Lee Williams. Offset him, San Diego's ball with the interception. Offsetting penalties. San Diego ball. <laughs> Seven turnovers in the first half. And Dan Fouts takes a look, swings it out. That's Gary Anderson. Rocketing in. He's down to the two-yard line. Overs. Right now, the Chargers looking to punch it in as Dan Fouts takes the drop from the two. Swing to Anderson and a quick move. He dives down to the goal line. They say no, he's not in. House backfield. Handoff, crash down close, but no touchdown signal yet. Now they give it, so the Chargers are on the board for the first time. Tim Spencer didn't get much, but he did get the needed three inches for a touchdown. The Chargers capitalize on a turnover, and Spencer is in the end zone on the payoff end. On the board, the youth Noilers jumping out to a 14-0 first quarter lead. And they extend that to 17-7 at halftime. NFL 85 is coming up after these messages from your local station. He's in there now. Dan Fouts on second and eight. Throws a strike, and he's got Eric Sievers, who's out close for a first down. Looks like he's got one. Wes Chandler and Charlie Joyner. Now Joyner breaks off. Fouts takes a look and again goes up the middle of his tight end. This time it's Kellen Winslow, and he's ahead for a gain of 14 yards and another Charger first down. 79, Kellen Winslow. Now first down and 10 as the Chargers move it out. Fouts long again. This time he's looking at Little Train James, who comes back oh. at the ball and caught it. He's going to go the distance. He stayed in bounds. Unbelievable. It was truly unbelievable, and yet that little man is unbelievable game after game. A good five inches taller. Watch James go up for the football. Look at the jump Man. ball. He stays inbound. Eason misses the tackle. That's an easy 67-yard touchdown just like that. What do they run? Three plays? That's about all. Three two, plays. Two to tight ends and one to little train. Well, the Houston Oilers have third down and 11 coming up. Chargers putting the heat on. Oliver Luck loops one downfield, and Tim Smith has the ball for a first down. Standout pattern by the ex-Nebraska star Tim Smith, who ran wide open in the middle of the field, and Oliver Luck lost the ball into him. 33-yard gain. Jeff Dale on the coverage. This is the three-deep zone. Smith just runs right down the seam of the zone. And well thrown by Oliver Luck. Big pickup by the Houston Oilers. 
Oilers meeting one badly after being beaten badly the past two weeks. Once by Buffalo. Here's a swing pass and Jamie Williams, the tight end, takes the ball down to the 38-yard line of San Diego. It looks like it might be another Houston first down. Mike Rozier thunders inside the 35-yard line. He joined us late. Earlier in the game, they led the Chargers 17 to nothing. Blitz. He eludes it, lets it go deep. And it's incomplete at the five yard line. And Dejas goes from seven yards. He goes from eight yards deep, an extra yard. It's a running start. He hits the ball hard and he hits it true. It is up and good, and so the Oilers get points on their first possession of the third quarter. And they open up a 20 to 14 lead. We'll be back with a Houston kickoff after this. Today, most of them ending up empty. Right now, Fouts and the Chargers ready to pump. Dan Fouts is going to be sacked back at the 15 yard line. It's the blitz. Dan Fouts dropping to throw. There's a strike downfield with the ball as West Chandler is out to the 40 yard line. What a catch. Well, that was. And Dan Fouts is down. There's threatened to blitz. Dan Fouts hands off and little train James breaks it inside. He's ahead to the 49 yard line. A about a yard short of where he had to go for the first down. Mm. They've come back though. Now full house backfield. Hand off. Spencer first down San Diego as he thunders ahead to the 47 yard line of Houston. Fast enough. Right now, though, first down and 10. Here's a throw to Kellen Winslow over the middle. He's inside the 25-yard line and down to the 23. What an athlete. Charger offense up to speed now. Here in the third quarter, they scored on their first possession, driving again and trailing by six. Chargers initiating this drive from deep in their own end. Here comes little train James. Turn in the corner. Putting moves on. And James is not done. He's ahead to the nine-yard line. It's a first down for San Diego. Has extra point with it, but they're not in yet. Trailing 20 to 14. Buford McGee fumbles Fumble. the ball. He gets his own fumble, but back at the 19-yard line. The Chargers living dangerously, trying the option pitch from Buford McGee to the trailer. And it comes up as a fumble, but this one they didn't lose. And your coverage. Dan Fouts, Ray Fishin, Lionel James has got the ball, and he's down to the one-yard line. He's got a first down. Lionel James with another spectacular reception. James runs an out and up. There's nobody even close to him. Uh, looks like Steve Brown is one of the guys there. It's down. It's third and a foot. Crash down to the goal line. Touchdown is signaled, and the Chargers have tied the game. Buford McGee gets in for the touchdown, and now the extra point attempt, all important for San Diego. And they trail by as many as 17 points, and they're up 21 to 20. For Houston, he's been the backup all year. He's not afraid to let her rip on first down. Gets Butch Wilfolk, and the Charger defense is there nicely. Linebacker Billy Ray Smith makes a knockdown. Steelers came from way behind to tie at 17 all. Oliver Luck on second and five swings it out, and Tim Smith is wide open out to the 33 yard line. He has a Houston first down. Playing for the first time 21 to 20. Luck swings it out. Tim Smith gets the ball, and he's going to be knocked down for a gain of about five. Got it out to the 37. Lots of short patterns today, Trump, by the Houston offense. Oh. Dropping the throw on second down and five. Oliver Luck lets her rip. Coming back at the ball is Drew Hill. He puts a move on and loses people. Drew Hill is down to the 41-yard line of San Diego. That's a fell in pass defense, number one in pass offense. Oliver Luck now gets an open channel. He's going to get yardage. He gets about seven as he's inside the Charger 35-yard line. Luck to Moriarty, stung hard at the line of scrimmage. Woody Lowe came up and popped him, and then he spun off, and as you see, gets ahead close to a first down. Third down and a long seven. They go to the draw play, and Moriarty breaks it for a first down. He's to the 15-yard line. The 20, after leading earlier in the game, 17-0. Now have a first down at the San Diego 15-yard line. Oliver Luck runs out of trouble again. And heads for the sideline, and Oliver Luck gets inside the 10-yard line. Four for the Oilers. Edwards. Stanley Edwards gets the ball for the first time today to play. The eye back. Rogier is in, standing up. 
So the Oilers get the lead back. 26 to 21. Lots more time for lots more touchdowns. We'll be back after this. Diego. James, sure-handed, lost the ball then, but it went out of bounds. Keith Bostic on the coverage. Six for Fouts and the Chargers. Free ball, it's broken up. Personal foul on number 79, roughing Against the, the defense. passer. He hit him in the head, 15 yards in the first. Ray Childress has called for a personal foul for hitting Fouts in the head. Backfield. Ready to wreak havoc. Bounce takes a look, throws it up. Winslow has the ball, and Kellen Winslow fights ahead for a San Diego first down. On an AstroTurf field, which is personal foul, unnecessary roughness on a defense 93. That's first 15 and a first down. That's him at the top of your screen. Running a deep pattern. Bounce takes a look, throws it out, got a man. Charlie Joyner is down to the 27 yard line. He'll be short, though, of a first down. He doesn't listen to people when he was a kid telling me he was too small. He said he believes in finding out for yourself. Shows him every week. Helen Winslow goes for the ball, but it came in high. He was open again. Dan Fats coming in a bit high. 8.53 to play, and Houston leading 27 to 21. Dan Fats looks. He's got a man, and Joyner makes the reception at the 17 yard line. It's a San Diego first down. Old reliable. 699th career reception. Line of the Oilers. Spencer has blockers. He's inside the five and he goes in standing up. Whoa. And the Chargers have tied the game and now they send out the team to try the extra point. And they caught the Houston Oilers in a full blitz. He goes right up underneath Baker, 75. He sees it coming. McKnight pulls. There's nobody out there to block. They run to the short side of the defense. Spencer, one, two, three, six into the end zone. right-hand corner of your screen. Here's Fouts against the blitz. blitz, and they get him. Bo Eason, the free safety, came on a blitz and got Dan Fouts before he could even set up. Moshenko takes the short snap, steps in and hits the ball. Not too well, but he does drive it downfield. It takes, though, an oiler bounds, and it's down inside the 45-yard line of the Chargers. So with three minutes to play, Houston gets it back, trailing by one. Shortly. Oilers trailing by one. To the run they go. Mike Rogier busting into the San Diego defense gets to the 39-yard line. They trail by one with two minutes to play. Here's a blitz. Long ball. Drew Hill's out there. He's got it. He's inside the 10-yard line. Drew Hill makes a diving reception. 29 yards and a one. 146 to play. Second down and goal for the Oilers. Moriarty running hard. He's inside the five and down to the two. Don, you realize that these two teams have produced 750 yards, make it 60 yards total offense today. Down and goal for the Houston Oilers in the two yard line. Luck to Rogier. He's in again. Same play, same result, and the Oilers take back the lead with 1.32 to go. Offense, time of possession. It's an amazing stat. Blitz, showing blitz. Bouts throws, Charlie Joyner gets it. He's across the 40, and Joyner's out to the 45-yard line. That. Dan Fouts dropping to throw again. Takes a look. Home run ball. Tremaine Johnson's out there. He's got it. He loses the ball at the 10-yard line. There's a penalty marker down. It'll be first down for the Chargers at the 11-yard line of Houston. That grabs him, pulls him down. It's defensive holding. It's only a five-yard penalty and automatic first down. The contact here, not at the latter stages. Interference. That's about a 50-yard pickup on a penalty. They mark the ball at the 13-yard line of Houston. First down and 10. 51 seconds to go. Bounce looks. Incomplete to James at the 5-yard line. There's also a penalty marker down. It's a defensive foul. It could be a first down, but the point right now is going towards the San Diego Chargers. They're going to blitz. Here it comes. Fouts takes a look. 
He throws. The man is open. Touchdown, oh. San Diego. West Chandler. They do it again. The Chargers hit the scoring throw on fourth down with 39 seconds to play. And the last play of the game in overtime. Today, in desperation, fourth down and eight. Six points to West Chandler, and he was wide open in the end zone. The people in San Diego will see that thing replayed a hundred times this week. Look at the pass protection. Great job by the offensive line. Bout steps right up into the pocket. It'll look Knows just as where good every he's time. Be. Big catch by Wes Chandler. Oliver Luck with three men running deep patterns gets time. There's a throw and a strike to Drew Hill. He's out to the 46-yard line. 29 seconds left, and the Oilers use one of their timeouts. Oliver could have a W. The Chargers now might show a blitz. And with a four-man rush, Luck steps in. Sack, free ball. First down if they get it. It's a first down at the 36-yard line. Tim Smith got the ball. Now they're going to rule it a sack back here. Yeah. That's he threw the football beyond the line. That's the illegal forward pass. Five-yard penalty and a loss of a down. Yep. It's for the Oilers. Oliver Luck taking a deep drop. He throws. Tim Smith is open. He has the ball for a first down inside the 35-yard line. And they call timeout with seven seconds left. Same play. On the line. Here comes the rush. Kick is on the way. It is up. It's good. Two seconds left, and Houston comes back to win it. When does he know it's true? He knows he hits it. About 20 yards down the field, he knows it's good. Five minutes ago, nobody had even spoken to him. <laughs> How about Oliver Luck? His bouncer downfield, picked up. They throw it back. Here's a pass. That's Incomplete. illegal. That's illegal. Game's over. That's illegal. Lionel James doesn't think it is, though. He's going to keep on working. He's not done yet. That's illegal. Look at James. He's in open field. That's illegal. A but the play pass. is whistled dead, and that is it. A forward pass. Illegal forward pass. Houston wins. Mojo's on the field. Absolutely phenomenal ending. A great and bitter disappointment again for the Chargers. The same thing they suffered a week ago. When seemingly they had the game ready to win, this time they seem to have it won, scoring with seconds to play. The Oilers come back on the long field goal by Zendejas and take a 37-35 game.